Hello, uh, good morning to all. This is Dr. R. Sasikumar, Professor, Computer Science and Engineering Department from RMD Engineering College. Today we have to discuss about uh, uh, throughput, uh, propagation time, transmission time problems in uh, computer networks. First, we will see that uh, throughput problem. The question number one, a network with bandwidth of 10 Mbps can pass only an average of 12,000 frames per minute, with each frame carrying an average of 10,000 bits. So what is the throughput of this network? So with respect to this problem, we have to find out the throughput of this network. In that uh, problem, the bandwidth is uh, 10 Mbps, the number of frames is uh, 12,000 frames, and uh, how many uh, bits will be transferred per minute means uh, 10,000 bits uh, will be transferred per minute. Okay, so each frame which contains the 10,000 bits. So what is, the, before uh, we move on to this uh, uh, throughput concept, first we should know the definition of throughput. So the throughput is the amount of data work done to be in a specified time. That is called what throughput. So uh, here we have to specify that uh, time constraint. Within the time limit, uh, if you complete the task, then we can achieve the throughput. So the throughput is amount of data moved successfully from one place to another place. In the above problem, we have 12,000 frames per minute. So each frame is carrying 10,000 bits. So we convert into seconds. Therefore, we can calculate the throughput as throughput equal to number of frames into number of bits. So 12, uh, with respect to this problem, 12,000 frames into 10,000 bits divided by seconds. That's why 60 seconds. So therefore, the throughput is totally 2 Mbps. Now, the throughput is almost one-fifth of bandwidth in this case because the bandwidth is a 10 mbps already mentioned so now throughput equal to 2 mbps so the throughput is almost one fifth of the bandwidth in this case i hope you understand this problem next we will move on to another concept uh, propagation time problem so how to calculate that propagation time the next question so what is the propagation time if the distance between the two point is 12000 kilometer so there are uh, uh, there will be a distance uh, between two point is uh, 12000 kilometer so assume that propagation speed is to be 2.4 into 10 power 8 uh, meter per second in cable so m bar s is nothing but what a meter per second in cable so uh, the solution is we have to calculate the propagation time the propagation time formula is distance between two point divided by propagation time so according to this problem, we have a two known value. One is a distance between two points, that is a 12,000 kilometer. And the another known value is what? Uh, the propagation speed. Uh, the propagation speed is what? 2.4 into 10 power 8 meter per second in a cable. So now we have to apply that uh, two values in that uh, given formula. So the distance between two point equal to 12,000 kilometer. Now we have to multiply. That's a kilometer is nothing but what? Uh, 10 power 3. So 12,000 into 10 power 3. And the propagation speed is 2.4 into 10 power 8 meter per second in a cable. Now we have to apply in that above uh, mentioned the problem. Uh, so the propagation time equal to 12,000 into 1,000. 10 power 3 is nothing but what 1,000 divided by propagation speed. The propagation speed is nothing but what 2.4 into 10 power 8. So now it will be converted into milliseconds. So 50 milliseconds. This is the answer. And third, we have to calculate that propagation time and the transmission time problem. So the question number three, what are the propagation time and the transmission time for a 2.5 kilobyte message? For example, if you send a mail from one friend to another friend, uh, sorry, uh, if you send a mail from your system to another system, there's a 2.5 KB message. If the bandwidth of the network is one GBBS, so what about that our bandwidth of the internet uh, that is one gigabits per second assume that the distance between the sender and the receiver is 12000 kilometer and the light travel at 2.4 into 10 power 8 meter per second in a cable so we have to calculate that propagation time so what we have seen that the previous problem the same thing we have to apply so the propagation time can be calculated with the help of the following uh, formula so the propagation time equal to distance between two point divided by propagation speed 
So with respect to this problem, the distance between two point equal to 12,000 kilometer and the propagation speed is already mentioned. That's a 2.4 into 10 power 8 meter per second. So we have to apply the distance between two point equal to 12,000 kilometer. That is a 12,000 into 10 power 3 because of kilometer and the propagation speed is a 2.4 into 10 power 8. So now you apply these two value in that above mentioned formula, you will get the answer is what uh, uh, you, you have to get the answer. Uh, then another one, uh, the transmission time problem also we have mentioned. So the transmission time is a 2.5 kilobyte. So now the propagation time, how to calculate the propagation time in part, the propagation time can be calculated with the help of the above problem, right? Uh, distance between two point, that is a 12,000 and uh, into 1,000 because of uh, 10 power 3. Then divided by 2.4 into 10 power 8, that is nothing but what a propagation speed. So you will get uh, 50 milliseconds. So this answer we have calculated in the previous problem also. The same thing we have to apply. Then uh, here uh, we have to calculate the transmission time. So the transmission time is what uh, 2.5 into KB. So kilobyte means what you have to multiply by 1000. So 2.5 into 1000, you will get uh, 2500 into 8 because a byte. So how many bits one byte means what 8 bits called one byte. So you have to multiply by 8. So 2500 into 8 divided by 10 power 9. So what is the meaning of the 10 power 9 means what? Uh, gigabits so uh, our bandwidth of the network is what one gigabits so we have to uh, mention that gigabits so the gigabits can be mentioned in terms of 10 power 9 so now finally what uh, the answer is 0 0.020 millisecond so in this case uh, the message is a very short message and the bandwidth is high because here they mentioned the problem the bandwidth is 1 gbps and the given message is what a 2.5 kb message so which one is a dominant factor means what the dominant factor is a propagation time because of the propagation time is what a 50 millisecond but the transmission time is what 0 0.020 millisecond so the dominant factor is the propagation time not the transmission time so the transmission time can be ignored so we will see that another problem uh, the same uh, continue right uh, in terms of transmission time problem so uh, the question number 4 what are the propagation time and the transmission time for a 5 megabyte message? So the previous problem, we have a 2.5 megabyte, but here 5, 5 megabyte message. If the bandwidth of the network is 1 Mbps, so the previous problem, we have 1 Gbps, but here 1 Mbps, assume that the distance between the sender and the receiver is same 12,000 kilometer and that light travels at 2.4 into 10 power 8 meter per second. So the solution, we can calculate the propagation time. As we know already, the propagation time is nothing but what a distance between two point divided by propagation speed. According to this problem, the distance between two point equal to 12,000 into 10 power three, there is a thousand. And uh, the propagation speed is what a 2.4 into 10 power eight meter per second. And uh, here the tra transmission time is what a five megabyte. Uh, now we should calculate the propagation time. 12,000 into 1,000 because of 10 power 3 divided by 2.4 into 10 power 8, uh, which is nothing but what a uh, 50 millisecond. Okay. And the transmission time is what? Uh, how many bytes we have to transmit means what? Uh, 5 MB. So 5 into 10 power 6. So that is called uh, uh, 5 megabyte. Uh, okay. The previous problem 2.5 into 2.5 KB. So we have to multiply by 1,000. You will get to 2,500. But here, 5 MB means what? 5 into 10 power 6. So uh, you will get uh, uh, 5, 6 zeros. And why should we multiply by 8 means what? Uh, 8 bits called 1 byte. So you have to multiply by uh, 8. So divided by 10 power 6. So what is the purpose of mentioning the 10 power 6 means what? Here the bandwidth is 1 MBBS. So 1 MBBS means what? 10 power 6. So final answer is what? 40 second. The propagation time is 50 millisecond. But the transmission time is what? 40 seconds. So which one is a dominant factor means what? As obviously, the transmission time is a dominant factor. So we should ignore the propagation time. So in this case, uh, the message is very long. So the bandwidth is uh, not very high. The dominant factor is the transmission time, not the propagation time. So the propagation time can be ignored. I hope you understand this uh, uh, above problem. Thank you.